This will make your golf swing so much more simple, I promise. I'm gonna encourage you to do what we're doing today down at your next practice session. Because like Harrison, he did this, he left the session, oh, and he was a little like, bit wow. of a baby draw. That worked miracles. I don't have any swing thoughts, but I've not struck that golf ball that well in years. Let me show you what we did. First things first, how do you set this session up? So come here with me. I've got an alignment stick down here, and what I want you to do is, this is gonna just separate your range into two halves your right hand side and your left hand side of the range. Now, when you're hitting golf balls and you can do this drill with irons, you can do this drill with drivers and even your wedges, right? I want you to place the golf ball down this virtual line. So not hitting from here and not hitting from somewhere over here. Really making sure that you're hitting straight down this line. First place we're gonna start, if you are a massive hooker of the golf ball, Okay, you need to understand this is what's happening at impact, and at the end I'll tell you how to reduce it as well. So if you hook the golf ball, your ball starting in the right hand side and moving all the way into the left. I'm down at the beaches, so you can see that on the on the trapman there, that curvature of the golf ball, massively right to left. So if that is your ball flight, how that is caused is really nice and simple. You're swinging far too much this way and your club face is pointing far too much to the left. There's a massive difference. And we'll put on the screen now an exact screenshot of what is happening at impact. That is super important to understand. Okay, the flip of that, which I reckon many of you are slices of the golf ball, is when that ball starts too much on your left hand side of the range, okay, and then finishes into the right Okay, now that's caused by an out to in path, one that's traveling this way, and a face that's pointing too much to the right. So you can see they are just opposites of each other. And again, on the screen, have a look at this, maybe even screenshot it, because this gives you a great breakdown of what's happening at impact. So if, whether you slice it or hook it, let's tell you how we can reduce it, and this is the bit where Harrison was like, hmm. It's a miracle. First place I'm gonna start with this is if you hook the golf ball. I want you to reduce how many knuckles you can see. So from the player cam perspective, look at this here. You might be able to see three to four knuckles on that glove hand. I want you just to reduce that to like two, two and a half, okay? So something like what you can see on the screen and then a little key touch point here is that right hand, the non-glove hand, get that crease pointing somewhere into your right shoulder. First thing. Next thing, I want you to picture, okay, so we said if you hook it, you start it in the right hand side and it curves too far left. I want you to picture trying to feel as though you start the ball in the left hand side of this. Now in reality, I'll be surprised if you do it first time, but what it'll do is, it will stop you getting your swing too much to the right. It'll feel a long way to the left, but hopefully find somewhere in between them. And reducing that grip will stop that club face closing too much. So really nice and simple. First thing I want you to do, let me hit one away here, is get that feeling of the weaker grip and trying to start it, the key word trying to start it, in that left hand side. Oh, a little bit of a baby draw. That started just right, but I felt like I was swinging somewhere here. Okay, next up. If you are a big slicer of the golf ball, now this is the one you've been waiting for because how many of us are perilously close to the edge of giving up with that big slice? Now, follow this. Look at the player cam here. We're gonna go a bit stronger with that grip. So if you've got no knuckle showing or even maybe just one, let's go with two and a half to three, right? Really ramp that up. Again, get that crease into that right shoulder. And what I want you to feel is here, a couple of things. Can we feel a little bit of this? Look at my arms here, okay? Get that club release it. Now, if I slow that right down and hold it up for you, look what that's doing to my club face. That's getting it to close, isn't it? Look at that, getting it to close, whereas a slice is just staying open. Next up, we said before we're starting it here, 
let's just try and feel like we swing it into the right. I know it won't cause you to draw the golf ball straight away, but what it'll certainly do is reduce your slice. So here we go, golf ball's positioned, grips in. The concept is I'm gonna swing over there. I'm gonna release it, but let's see what ball flight comes out. Look at that, just a little bit of a fade. Near enough, absolutely straight. So there you go, follow that miracle drill. Join Harrison on improving your ball flight. Like, that's probably the simplest way to think about hitting the golf ball straighter with your irons and driver.